What are you even talking about? Oh, that guy. I hope you don't notice me, guy. Yeah. Now, uh, you should take your take your time for these sections if you're not sure what to do. But usually, what you want to do is you want to take out the guys up highest first, and that seems to be the only guy. So cool. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Stop. Get me out of this mode. All right. Oh, cool. I did cancel out. And then take the guys furthest away, such as this lonely poor soul over here. Because enemies are like in every other stealth game. They have a very, very limited eyesight. And there's that thing over there, just in case you screw up really bad. Now this part, you can stealth these guys. It just takes a bit of finesse. Rather, a bit of timing. Unfortunately, Spider-Man likes to take his time. That was kind of close. So yeah, just wait here. Wait for every enemy to get behind the cover. Behind the cover. Behind the cover. And then go and stealth them. Pretty easy. And I think the other... Yeah, the one... The, this other guy should go over there, too. Because uh, there's another guy over there that walked away, so... Enemy patterns in games programmed. He should be walking over there shortly. Soon. Hopefully. Come on. Oh, there it is. Pattern. Now... I'm going to go for this guy first, just because he's over here. And out of the way. The other guy's not facing, so... He's the safest bet. And then I take out the other guy, and boom. I stealth took out everyone in this room. You really want to try to stealth... Fighting the urge to say stealth kill. Stealth take out... Uh, stealth knock out everyone in the rooms. When you can, because it is the safest bet, definitely. It also gives the most experience. Go ahead, Spider-Man. I see the control room. I'm going in now. Hey, okay. Huh. No, this is a side area, actually. Not much of a side area, really. It's just a little room with a collectible. Quote-unquote collectible. Uh, yeah, it has tech pieces, so... I, I do remember a good bit of the collectibles from the LP. Not the LP I did. I didn't do an LP. I'm doing it right now, actually. From the, uh... From when I first played. Whoa. I don't want to do that. Oh, come on. I can't turn the way I want to. That's so dumb. Ugh. I want to get up here. And I want to still take out these guys up here because, as I said, take out the guys highest up first. And they have Metal Gear Syndrome, which means they won't be able to see each other being taken out, even though it's a big open room and they have pretty much no reason not to. So I think there's only these two guys up here. Oh, there's a third guy up here. I'm not sure if there's a fourth. We'll find that out soon enough. And you're out. As soon as I take these three out, I'm going to look around. There should be a guy over there if there's a fourth. And there's not. Cool. Oh, crap. It's, it's crap like that that will... That ruins all the ability to stealth here. That's why when you have them in stealth mode, you're gonna need to freeze time and lock on them. Or else you're on the risk of just like web zipping into them. And you're like, let's do combat, Mortal Kombat. And you're like, no, I could've just, could've just taken them out if, if you just gave me the time of day. So, I'm going to get down here. Ooh, gotta be careful, don't wanna, Take that out, and... Ooh, uh, this guy, because he's not aware. Try to get him from the roof, because then you then you kind of time to the roof, and nobody really notices. And this guy, thankfully, stands up for me. Knocks the chair over, but, eh. Can't all be nice guys. Chivalry is dead. <laughs> this, uh, is a predicament. I can only take one of these guys out before they notice, so I'm going to take out the toughest enemy. Always a rule of thumb. 
In a group of enemies, if you can only take one out right off the bat, always take out the easiest. And then I'll just nitro glycerin these twos and get oh, some collectibles. Cool. I'm okay with that. Tech pieces. I'm gathering so many tech pieces, man. There are a few. G no, the lights just, uh, got me. And then we just need to interact with these things. Although, ooh, there's a magazine over there at the side. Hey, you can see it in the background there. <laughs> Although I think that's on. This is on a time limit, so. What a hurry! Oh, roll over there. Okay. What's in here? She looks like a story room. Can you reroute the convoy? I've tried everything, but it's not working. There's a switch over there. Can you get to it? I'm on it. Right, I'll get right on that. Just just a moment. I'm gonna hop right to it. I am just a little busy right now. Yeah. So oh yeah, this thing. Okay. <laughs> Well, did it work? No, and now the system's on lockdown. It won't respond. Wait here. I have another idea. She needs her own costume. Wait here. Okay. Nope. Because magazine, and also... Hey, what the hell are you doing? Move! I'm not the droid you're looking for. Oh, you're a real comedian. And you know what the next line is? Move along! She's braver than me, but she broke superhero rule number one. Don't nice, uh, Star Wars reference, in case, uh, no one know. And also, she just left her helmet. She's in a facility full of armed and very dangerous Oscorp guards that could very easily kill her, and she just left her helmet. What? Uh, she's a terrible reporter, honestly. Well, that didn't work out how I wanted that to. That was supposed to go much better than that. Trust me on that one. Although, I guess that is the comical scenario in a movie where the hero just happens to run into a group of bad guys. Oh, they're dead, so that's good. Is there vents or anything I could take? Well, there's vents, just none I can take. Oh, this room. Well, all right. Who sent you? Why are you here? <laughs> what kind of sexist question is that? Can a girl do something on her own? Answer me! I was looking for the mean jerks with guns convention. Is this it? She stuck her nose where it doesn't belong. And so did you. <clears throat> <clears throat> that ought to teach you some manners. What was that? Was that supposed to be a punch? I've seen better punches from my nana. So, obviously we have to save her, so let's go and find some collectibles. <laughs> obviously, when the damsel is in distress, we uh, go around and complete side missions and quests and level up some. There is something else in this room, I know it. That's not just a gut feeling, that's just me generally knowing it. Oh, there, it's right here. Duh. So then we hop up here. A member of the media. Well, I could totally stealth kill, stealth take out one of these guys. Yeah, you're going away. What's going on? Oh, oh, he's right there. No, oh, okay, bye. Yeah, that's, I don't know. I guess it's okay because the enemies just wait for you and stuff, but eh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, fight. Yeah, take that. Yeah. Oh, this is a barrel thing could have used. Hello? Come on, wake up! <clears throat> you didn't try to kiss me, did you? I wanted to, but you were drooling, so. What are we waiting for? Let's go. What now? I'll see if I can stop the incinerator. You're gonna have to try and grab the container before it's all extra crispy. Okay, go! Are we looking for the same? 
same thing. Connor's research. It's on a tablet computer. Has an Ouroboros symbol on it. Okay, I'm going for it. Whoa! Don't let him shoot me! And now, uh, not quite an escort mission, but still pretty bad. We have to zoom around and fight these guys and protect her without... Alright, actually hit the guys without just jumping around, Spidey. I know how much you love to just jump around, jump around. But this is not the time to dance. So, I think the easiest way to do this is to just take them and grab them. Because they, they will just continuously spawn, so... Uh, not continuously forever, of course, but, uh, you know, spawn for it to a point, so... And trust me, this mission on hard difficulty is a bitch. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, he's right there! This guy! Look at this guy. That should... Yeah, that should take him out. I think one of... The, oh, jeez. Yeah, it's a tough mission. It's tough, it's... Annoying, it really is annoying though. <laughs> Although I think you could just. Oh, what are you doing? Get out of there! Oh, okay, just do that. I don't know why I'm taking so much damage. I guess I, I guess it's just because I don't have any of the armor upgrades. Yes, there are armor, armor, armor upgrades, so it's like, eh. Jeez. I'm in more risk of dying than her, really. It's just uh, back and forth, zooming, doing things. Ah, I hate this. How is she not dead? I mean, Spider-Man would definitely be dead from all these bullets by now. And this lady with armor, that's probably not that great. Although, since it's Oscorp, it's probably the best armor ever in existence. Ah, there it goes. Well, it's a good thing they know when they're being uh, target locked by Spider-Man. They're like, oh no. I guess it's not that armor proof after all. Wait, there's no guy there. Don't worry. I'll get you out of here. <sighs> My hero. It just nicks me, okay? I'll be fine. <sighs> Whoa, Spider-Man just touched her butt. <laughs> you know, Alright, which way do we go? That you may need my help from time to time. No. <laughs> I thought I was the one who was helping you right now. Info, Spider-Man. I can get you the scoop on Oscorp. Give me a number and I'll be able to... Yeah, I don't give my number on the first date. Wait, I don't... Okay, I, I messed up this one. It's your call, but I can help you. Okay, it's 555-9977. Five, 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 nine, nine, seven, seven. Hours are 9 to 5, Monday through Saturday. Hmm, and what are you doing on Sundays? Uh, do you ever stop talking? Do you? I'm not exactly sure which way to go. Oh, I guess it is this way. Alright. Wait. Took those guys... Oh, okay. Alright. I guess that makes sense. Uh, there's collectibles here. Just thought you should know. I'm gonna try to get them if I can. But no guarantees. No promises. No surrender. No retreat. That's all I'm gonna get. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, it's just XP. Really, to me. What way out. Let's do this. Oh, this must be the slowest elevator in town. Any other way out of here? Why leave so early? I was hoping for the next dance. Maybe you can dance yourself out of the way, Cupcake. I could fight him, or I could just get away, have him not know where I am, and then stealth kill him. Like so. It's a much easier way of dealing with these guys, which, if you can't tell, are bigger, badder enemies. I think, is there, is that it? Is there another one, though? Oh, I guess not. But I swear there's a collectible, too, in this room. Uh, oh yeah, there's some uh, tech pieces. Always worth going out of my way for. Because they're actually a viable collectible. Well, you handled that like a real gentleman. It was a pleasure meeting you, Spider-Man. Hope to see you around. Uh, you forgetting something? Oh, I don't normally give out my number to mass vigilantes, if that's what you mean. The research. 
A deadly virus infected a lot of Oscorp scientists. That thing's got data that can help create an antidote. I risked my life to get this just as much as you did. You need it for a story. I need it to save innocent lives. Not so fast. I'll hand it over on one condition. Here we go. Fine, I agree. Keep my camera and take pictures of everything you can. Everything newsworthy. Especially anything that can help get to the bottom of all this. Keep me posted. This is something that people deserve to know about. Fair enough, it's a deal. Thanks, Whitney. Well, you did save my life, Spider-Man. Now get going. Don't forget to send me updates. You wouldn't want me to tell people you're a no-good liar, now would you? I'll think about it. See you around.